I am working on an Asian festival canvas. So I am a director for Wichita Asian Festival. And when I became an educator, I decided I wanted to bring my students into the event itself. So I thought, what's a great way to help Truesdale students give back to the community? And so here we're involving my students in building a backdrop. You gotta be careful to not spill anything, but if you mess up, it's not the biggest deal because it's so big and you can cover it up, of course. Every year we have a set of stage performances at the festival. Uh, Miss Jen is one of our stage directors and we wanted to do something different this year and have a backdrop as the main art piece to the festival. I recruited Rachel Downs who has experience creating theater backdrops and she put me in touch with a prolific Chinese backdrop designer who then gave us a mock-up and my students are helping to paint the mock-up onto the backdrop itself. It's really pretty and it just brings me joy. Painting the blossoms that's the most fun is. Typically we have a balloon setup, which is great itself, but we wanted to do something a little bit more intentional, a little bit more artistic, and Miss Jen was able to work with Rachel and her students to have this amazing backdrop that we'll have on stage at Century 2. Rachel came in, she built it with my students on Monday, the framing, the measurements, the students got to learn about the geometry and math behind art. Once the frame was built, she and the students have been painting and designing the backdrop since then. So it's about a five day painting venture, but it's something that's been in the works for several months. Being able to work with the students, let them get an appreciation, a hands-on experience with creating art um, and learning about the history and the significance of it at the same time. You'll see in this backdrop multiple pieces of Asian culture. You'll see the bridge, the tower, the trees, the cherry blossoms, and they all include multiple facets of what it means to be Asian. And so I think that gives the students a perspective that they may not be able to get just by reading a book or seeing something online. They get to practice what they learn from the classroom onto this actual physical backdrop. The students that are here with me today are my advanced art students. They've shown a lot of independence, um, higher critical thinking skills, eagerness to learn the trade, or really wanting to adventure outside the box of traditional art. And so I brought those that really wanted to experience something different, see how artists can work in the real world. I get a learning experience and get to get out of school. I make sure that my students get a lesson on cultural inclusion, social inclusion, so they understand the importance of how, not just how other cultures impact art, but how they can impact their community by supporting other cultures. So cultural inclusion is very important. We do a lesson on different Asian art before we even step into Asian Fest. As we learn about Asian Festival, they learn about social inclusion, why the festival came about, how they're contributing in a positive way to the community and supporting Asian culture and other cultures as well. And we do a whole big giant lesson on creating stage decorations. So not only do these students get to create the backdrop, all of my students in my classes get to create the hanging artwork that you see on stage. Come by to the Asian Festival next Saturday um, from 4 to 9 p.m. Um, we're excited. We have a great set of uh, stage performances, several vendors that will be selling food um, that's a part of the Asian community and it's a great way to, to learn more about the Asian community here in Wichita.